ever pondered the intricate workings of your mind? This vast universe within us, bustling with thoughts, emotions and decisions, is a marvel of complexity that we often overlook in our daily lives. Yet every decision we make, every reaction we have, springs forth from this enigmatic entity we call the mind. Our thoughts, in essence, shape our reality. But how does it all work? What's the secret behind this ceaseless mental chatter? To unravel this mystery, we turn to the wisdom of Buddhism, which offers a fascinating metaphor, monkeys in your mind. Picture your mind as a lively forest teeming with monkeys, each representing a thought, a worry or a desire. They leap from tree to tree, creating a cacophony of activity that mirrors the constant chatter within our minds. This journey we embark upon will help demystify the mind's inner workings. So, are you ready? Ready to encounter the monkeys in your mind? Buddhism often refers to the mind as a tree filled with scampering monkeys. But why? Picture a tree filled with monkeys, each one representing a thought. They're restless, jumping from one branch to another, never staying put. This is the monkey mind, an ancient Buddhist analogy illustrating the restless, unsettled and uncontrollable nature of our thoughts. Just as a monkey swings from branch to branch, our minds leap from one thought to another, often without pause. Emotions, reactions, desires, fears, they all scurry around like monkeys in our minds, making it hard to focus, to be still. This is the monkey mind, a concept that resonates even in our fast-paced modern world. Understanding the monkey mind is a step towards self-awareness and consciousness. It's a reminder that our thoughts are transient, they come and go, just like the monkeys in the tree. It's a lesson in observing without reacting, in quieting the mind amidst the chaos. Just like monkeys, thoughts can be tamed, but how? Imagine if you could quieten the monkeys, bringing peace to your mind. Now, let's delve into how Buddhism suggests we can do just that. It offers techniques to calm the mind, creating a path to serenity. First, there's mindfulness. This is the practice of becoming acutely aware of our experiences in the present moment. It's about observing the monkeys without judgment or interference. By cultivating mindfulness, we develop a deeper understanding of our thoughts and feelings and how they affect our actions. Next is concentration. This is the ability to focus our attention single-pointedly on a particular object or task, and it's essential for quieting the mind. Without concentration, the monkeys run wild. With it, we can keep them in check. Lastly, there's meditation. Far from being an escape from reality, meditation is a way to fully engage with it. It's a time to sit with the monkeys and observe them. It's about recognizing their presence without becoming swept up in their antics. Each of these practices helps us to control our thoughts and emotions. Not only does this lead to better decision making, but it also fosters a more peaceful life. We become less reactive and more responsive. We learn to respond to life's ups and downs with grace and equanimity. Meditation isn't about silencing the monkeys, but understanding them. By understanding them, we learn to live with them in harmony, bringing a sense of calm and serenity to our minds. The monkeys in your mind aren't your enemies, they're your companions on this journey of self-discovery. This journey, this path we tread, is all about embracing the monkeys in our minds. Not to tame or subdue them, but to understand and accept them. Consider this, the mind is like a tree, teeming with monkeys, each representing a different thought, emotion or impulse. They chatter, they screech, they swing from branch to branch, overwhelming, isn't it? But what if we could learn their language, understand what they're trying to tell us? Each monkey, each thought or emotion has a purpose. Fear keeps us safe. Joy makes life worth living. Even anger in its own way can be a catalyst for change. The goal isn't to silence these monkeys, but to listen, to understand and to guide them. Our thoughts and emotions are not intruders to be banished, but guests to be welcomed. By acknowledging them, we give ourselves the chance to understand our mind's landscape. We learn what triggers a flurry of activity, what calms the chatter, what each monkey needs to thrive. In this process, we're not just befriending our thoughts and emotions, we're befriending ourselves, nurturing a sense of inner peace and self-acceptance. It's not about control, but coexistence. It's not about eradication, but effective management. 
So, are you ready to make friends with the monkeys in your mind? <laughs>